Okay, just a follow-up question to what you just said previously, and, and, and I appreciate your experience, uh, years of experience teaching students uh, across North America. Um, I have young people, young professional people coming to the club. And their biggest issue at the moment, they're really pumped and they read books and they got educated and they want to start getting into real estate, investing into real estate. And as you know, most people face this problem. Where do I get the down payment so I can start in real estate investing? Any, any thoughts on that? Like how can you help and how the course that you're going to be teaching is going to change their mindset into you know, making making sure that they can actually get to okay. experience in real estate. Okay. So here's my answer to that. First of all, like we're looking at what you're talking basically is about how to do a no money down deal, how to put the least amount of our money into a property, a project, or something like that. Well, first of all, put yourself in the uh, in the feet in the in how would you say that? Put yourself in the uh, how do you say shoes it? in the shoes, shoes. feet yeah. shoes I'm a French <laughs> so guys are put yourself in the shoes of a of an investor that is willing to lend you money okay so I'm an investor you come to me and say listen I found this property I want to buy it and I want you to lend me all the money so 100% uh, your money ask yourself why would I lend you money if that property is not a good deal if you're buying a million dollar property at a mil if the property's worth a million and you're buying it at a million, guess what? It's not a deal. But if you're, if you're buying a property that's worth a million for seven fifty, dollars that means that you've got $250,000 worth of equity. Yes. As an investor, as a guy that lends money, would I be secure in lending you money on that deal? So the biggest challenge new investors have is that they go out, they find something, $890,000, and they buy for 840 and they think it's a great deal. That is not a deal. A deal is where you buy, the day you buy, you buy equity. And if you have a deal, you will find money. And I listen, the key to doing no money down deal is buying a property where there's equity. So that the investor that is lending you money, if you ever default on the loan, takes the property back and he's got that chunk of equity already into his deal. So he could make a profit on it. Listen, we're there to cover our assets when you land. So the key to buying real estate when you're starting is to find a deal. Mm -hmm. Not a million for a million, a million for 780, a million. Now some of you say, well, why would a guy sell for below market? That is something that I'll explain to you and I'll teach you in the course because that's vendor's mindset, distressed seller, distressed properties and so on. So you have to find all those ingredients in order for you to do a deal with the least amount of your cash. That's the key, I think. And that is really fantastic. That makes Absolutely. Sense. I've heard this many times before that money follows good deals. Yeah, you yeah. You bring a good deal to the table and money will just flood into that deal because yeah. everybody is looking for a good deal. Yeah. And this is what you're going to be covering, how to find, how to identify good deals versus not so good deal, right? Well, because we don't want to. I always it. say a good deal is having equity yeah. and having cash flow. There we go. Why would you buy a property that doesn't cash flow? Why would you buy a property that doesn't have equity? Why would you buy a property for somebody else and buy their problems just because you're buying it? That doesn't make sense. This is a difference between, sorry to say, a real estate investor and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is there to make money, and that's what I wish for you guys. Fantastic. That Fantastic. Makes sense. I'm looking forward to this training. Awesome. I'm pumped. Okay. Thank you. By the way, November 30th, December 1st, uh, in Toronto, Todor will actually send you the exact location, but that's going to be that weekend, two full days, guys. You can't afford not to be there. I totally agree. Absolutely. He is the man and looking forward to seeing you in the classroom.